Hello, this is Craig Lane with Health Alchemy YouTube channel talking about in our sequence today the second of the two major water purifying herbs that are also neurological regenerative and that's go to cola. Craig Lane, healthalchemy.com, Health Alchemy YouTube channel. And you can see right here is an interesting thing that's happened. It got really dry here today. And um, right there, and so you can see where it's kind of dried out and it's not really happy. Underneath it's pretty, it's actually pretty wet underneath there, but you're seeing what you're seeing here is a little bit of the plant, its ability to really grow rapidly. See how it's kind of so thick here. And Gota Cola is another plant that sometimes is referred to as Brahmi, but I was told that was incorrect and that Brahmi is Gota Cola. Depends on where you are in India, so we won't go there any more, more than that. But this is another plant that I cannot say enough about the qualities and how much this plant can do for a human being. And you notice how it's very happy when it's standing upright. See all these leaves standing broad upright. So see another water purifier. And then we talked about Bacopa yesterday and then there's Bacopa over there. See traveling along. So this plant is watered almost daily. So let's go into it a little bit. My experience with this plant is um, it's a little warmer than Bacopa. One of my colleagues had said, um, I was called out and then I said it wasn't thyroid stimulating and safe for, the, for a hyperthyroid. And I was called out by a colleague that said, no, it does increase thyroid function and you could actually aggravate a hyperthyroid condition. And they showed me the lab work to back that up with a couple of people. So I would say be careful with this plant if you have um, you know, a hyperthyroid condition. Although I, it's viewed as a glandular tonic in some of the textbooks. So we'd say, okay, glandular tonic. If you have a hyperglandular system and your thyroid's in excess, you probably want to be careful with this plant. Um, and there's a lot of, there's going to some stories about it and I'll go back to my experience and weave that in and out. They say in Sri Lanka, the elephants love the plant and it's been used, um, it's just, don't even know where to start with it, you know? So it's high in B vitamins. It's got calcium and sodium and minerals in it. I think of it as another premier intelligence plant. Um, it strengthens the and balances the left and right hemispheres of the brain and the crown chakra, they call it. Um, it neutralizes uh, free radicals and nerve and brain cells. So it helps concentration and memory. Um, Fo Ti Ting um, lived on a tonic called Fo Ti Ting. Li Chun Yun lived on this for uh, lived 256 years and lived on a tonic with Gota Cola in it. Um, it's native to India and southern United States. Again, marshy areas and riverbanks is what the text states, and that's what I've seen with it. Tremendous water purifier. Um, it's antibacterial, antifungal. It has a correlation and connection to the veins and the connective tissue and the skin. So it's also a blood purifier. Um, it's anti-tumor, anti-cancer. It really helps the overheated individual who is burning up their memory and concentration on mental energy alone. I don't know if that, you people can relate to that. So the person that's got a hot nervous system that thinks a lot, this plant could be a little bit helpful. Um, it's bitter and sweet and cool, which goes against what I said earlier that it's kind of warming. Um, so it, it is warming in the sense of, you know, it can get the glandular system working better, but I wouldn't say that it has a warming energy I'm going to stick with the, um, but it's cleansing. It can help with malaria and periodic fevers. In China, it's been used for fractures, sprains, and bruises. Um, with ginkgo, it helps strengthen the veins and the capillaries. It cleanses and feeds them. It's a peripheral vasodilator. It's a diuretic and a, and a sedating modly. It's anti-rheumatic, so it's going to help autoimmune rheumatoid arthritis. Um, Anti-ulcer, which means it's going to help the linings. Here's the digestive part and the skin, because all the stomach lining is, is skin cells. Um, it's anti-inflammatory, anti-ulcer, as I stated, and a vulnerary. So it's got lots and lots of properties. Um, this plant is action-packed, folks. And if you reach in here, I'm going to pick one of these guys. And there's what, kind of what it looks like. Not the greatest looking specimen and we'll eat it. It's a little bit like lettuce. Um, I have two pages of notes on this plant. Um, this plant's also been used to heal um, post-surgical births, you know, like scarring, vaginal problems, you know, after the birth. Uh, it reduces scarring um, from organ damage. 
it increases the hemoglobin percentage of blood work has been shown to do that it increases protein and vital capacity so you've got all these correlations and proofs how good this plant is and so when I recommend a plant and I send you to a client to this video to watch it I really hope you know that we would watch this whole video and see the the miracles and the majesty of what plants can do and this is another one it's a multitasker of epic proportions one that I've been using for 15 years professionally and if you can hear the crows in the background they seem to agree with me they're really going at it and any other experience I've had with this plant is that it, it juices up nicely like wheatgrass so I have a wheatgrass juicer it I use the whole plant so I'll dig it up I won't just use this top part here but I'll actually pull it up dig it out and pull up some of the roots like good section right here to dig all that out and get some of the roots in. Um, there's some properties in the roots that I don't think have been studied as much as the green leaf. But as a, as a world-changing, life-changing plant, this plant is loaded and it's worth looking into, it's worth using. And this is Craig Lane with Health Alchemy YouTube channel signing off on Go to Cola and yet another herbal tidbit in our sequence of herbal tidbits.